Shalom, brothers and sisters. Now, as a believer, I want to encourage you. Don't let people just give you something and tell you to read it out loud or quote something without knowing what it is. Because the world is sick right now. And they have all sorts of agendas and things they're trying to push. And this article is going to show this very nicely. Always be aware of everything. Always look carefully at everything. And unfortunately, that is the world we're living in right now. Yale Divinity students forced to read from a witch's spell at orientation. So before I even read the article to you, Yale Divinity students... This very large involvement from the Catholic Church, and then they've got various ministers and things teaching New Testament, teaching Hebrew, teaching all these things. So you would think Bible-based believing it's divinity students and they would be focused on the Word of God, but forced to read a witch's spell at orientation. Welcome to the end of the world. Yale's Divinity School coerced students to read a spell written by a witch as part of its before the fall orientation. Students were led to read, led to read aloud, sorry, line by line and one by one from Adrian Brown's radical gratitude spell. Now there's no way I'm reading a spell out loud or partaking in the occult or evil. I will read the word of God aloud. I will speak Jesus into the situation. And you know what will happen then? They'll cancel you and kick you off campus. Brown has been described by Meeting of Minds as a mixed race, black, queer American writer, community organizer, facilitator, witch, and goddess. And they had her poem read by the divinity students. Brown herself ascribes to witchcraft and says it informs all of her public work. A second year student who requested to remain anonymous expressed a deep concern over this act by the orientation staff. The student called the provided spell bizarre and gross, especially for students to not be told of the author or intentions behind the spell before being led to participate in it. Under the name of inclusion, acts of pagan spirituality are being blindly normalized in educational spaces. Yale Divinity School being a prime example right now of this. Now again, if you go look at their website and you drill into who's there and what they're actually supposed to be about. The Yale Divinity School faculty are a diverse group of scholars and educators committed to advancing knowledge and preparing the next generation of leaders for the church and the world. So we are changing the next generation of leaders of the church to read spells, be inclusive of witches and witchcraft, to accept pagan practices. Just get Jesus out of your boat because you don't want him in your boat because Jesus does not include those things in what he has brought to set us free. God has broken the chains. They want to put your chains back together inclusively and make sure they're working properly for the times ahead. Be very weary and careful of the deception that is rife in the world right now and everywhere. And they are trying to force these things and slip these things through cracks in the armor as people don't spend enough time seeking God's face, don't spend enough time with the Holy Spirit, don't grow in their relationships with God, and then these kind of things come across their path to just gently nudge them in the wrong direction. It is a spiritual battlefield out there, people. If you haven't realized that yet, I am telling you that is exactly what it is. The battle is fierce, but our God is strong. Shalom.